Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my short update videos on the clicking adventure RPG kind of game that we are working on together where I'm trying to implement the amazing features you guys are talking about in the comments. I'm so happy about it. I wanted to do weekly updates on the game development, but I'm putting in way more time than I should into this project because I think it is so fun and I really want to keep you guys posted on the small changes that I do whenever I do something in the game. So even though I haven't made all the changes that I wanted, I decided to post a new APK file and uh, really share the process with you guys about the different small changes that are happening in the game. So unfortunately, saving is still not an option and pets cannot die, they cannot fight, you cannot change their names, like a lot of the, the big stuff, I just didn't have time for it, I've been preparing for it so that I'm closer, but there were different things that I felt were more important, important to get down first. So anyway, before digging into that, for those of you that just like download these APK files and perhaps you already had one of the previous versions, I just wanted to show you guys, obviously uh, this here is my uh, blue stacks and it is in Danish, so I'm sorry about that, but the icons should be the same. But if you go into your blue stack settings and you go into uh, administrate programs, this is where you need to delete the apps. Uh, so if you cannot update the app, then you just hit the, the, the bin where it says Apple Clicker and then you should be... Um, ready to install the game again. So I just wanted to share that with uh, new Bluestacks users that uh, possibly didn't know how to uninstall an app and if there were problems installing the new versions of the game. Anyway, uh, Dropbox link to download the APK file. It is the APK here that you can run if you want to go with the current version of the game. I'm like keeping some of the different versions there just because I think it's kind of fun and perhaps you guys want it for fun as well to track through the process or anything guys. Um, so um, what did I want to say? File size, I have nudged it down a bit, moved from 31 megabytes to 25.8, uh, just really trying to focus a little bit on it, still like I could probably shave it in half, but I don't want to go there yet because I'm going to be making a great deal of changes to the graphics in the game once we get closer to completion, um, so I'm not focusing that much on it. But anyway, get the APK file down and you like double click it when you have Bluestacks open and then it's going to install it and it is going to run it. Sometimes it runs it. Not sure why it doesn't now. Anyway, no I can. Uh, it's going to come at some point. So, what have I changed? Loads of things really uh, and some of them are immediately visible. Money and apples now have a maximum amount and that comes down to one of the things I personally find very important in games it is I want to earn the right to have things I do not like to get everything handed on a plate and it's like here go crazy I like that if I am rich in a game I have earned the right to be rich if I can buy crazy upgrades, it's because I have made it possible for myself in the game. It also allows for a bit easier um, game guidance, meaning that I can we can put in features in the game for new players. At at some point, we're gonna need like a tutorial and stuff, and we can give people enough money to guide them towards the upgrades to show them how the game is played um, so like loads of things in one uh, also I feel that the more you can specialize in a game the more fun potential it has so if you want to like be all focused on money you can do that there can be uh, just out of the box here 
special pets that you can only get if you have enough money, golden versions, special pets you can only get if you have a huge stash of apples, all sorts of things in those directions besides achievements and trophies and stuff like that that of course will be added. All those uh, different ways of playing a game that give you a chance to set your own individual goals like I want to have all the uh, money themed objects or pets or all that stuff I personally feel that the more hidden ways of playing the game a game has the more exciting it is for me so I wanted to start preparing for such features so that is like the first thing um, besides that I have as you can see we have these uh, maximum amounts and the current amount and what is going to happen right around the corner when we reach the maximum amount is that the color is going to change from white to red what I thought about was also having like some money dropping down here and some apples dropping down so you can see right now I'm wasting my money because I cannot hold more um, I do not expect the financials to be displayed like this in the final version of the game so I didn't want to go into too much uh, graphic stuff on it but just having the game feature that kinda lets the player know hey you're wasting money right now I thought that was an important thing to get in there right away so we have the financials we have maximum stuff and I made the done yes I did so right now the den has five upgrade options it has stables that allow you to increase the amounts of pets you can have you can only have three from the start and it doesn't give you an error message when you try to buy more obviously it's gonna have some kind of message you need to upgrade your stables to buy more pets when you buy the third one go in here and do it all that stuff Right now I'm focusing uh, very much on the functionality, um, so that is what you can do with the stables. You can increase the amount of pets that you can have in the game. We have a treasury that increases the amount of money you can have. Granary increases the amount of apples you can have. The nursery and the kennel are not working. I have programmed them but I have not, have not implemented them, so you can upgrade the pet health but it actually doesn't happen you can also upgrade your roll luck but it doesn't really affect what kind of pets you get but in the next version it will and um, I like having an option like uh, the luck because it, once again it gives you a chance to specialize on trying to get more rare pets if you want to uh, it, I mean, obviously the amount of upgrades you need, it, it, the price just keeps scaling. So like if we check out the max coins here, it jumps to 112. Now it's red, we can't buy it, we go out again. Um, so it just continues to add these 25%. Uh, pet rolling, because I'm working on the menus sometimes you roll for a pet when you click on the den button it's super annoying in the process of tracking that uh, small bug down but uh, it just happens sometimes it's like a few pixels I need to nudge a few things and it comes it's with the scaling algorithm again but I'm gonna get it all sorted but anyway these icons also now have this reddish color when you cannot afford to buy them and they are like greenish when you can I'm not saying they're gonna end up looking like this but this was just what I pulled out of my pocket a little fast also just shows a hundred should have like a coin symbol as well because we are spending coins here and not apples um, so it says apples here and what it gives you is coins per second no apples per second I want to make some kind of uh, fruit tree upgrade where you can both get these per second kind of things but also unlock the golden apples, the magic apples, all the things that get you more money for actually tapping apples up the tree. Also a place where you should be able to affect the lifespan of the tree because a lot of you guys have been requesting that 
I add in the feature where you can, so the tree can die, and you can plant a new one, possibly a rare version of one, possibly other fruits. So that stuff is going to be probably combined into one game area in terms of upgrades. So uh, what else did I do today? I made some adjustments to the animation of uh, especially the bats. It should prevent them from flickering. They jumped quite a bit from the top to the bottom. It should be less likely to happen now. Um, in the stash here, it is still not possible to do anything with your pets. They just give you the passive income. But I have now made it so that you can see the coins per second, the apples per second, the attack points, and the health in addition to the current level and the name of the pet. So lots of things that I still want to add, like your, your comments, your ideas are just so absolutely amazing and awesome. I'm so happy about it. And um, I'm, I'm really trying to just, I'm writing things down on <laughs> my working papers and trying to make notes also in the actual code about you know, this guy or girl had uh, an idea about this that I need to consider when I make the rest of this part. Uh, so as you can see now we have three pets and when I tap here, nothing happens. Um, but if you go into the den and you increase your stables here, then uh, you can actually roll for another pet. So, um, so yeah, obviously all this info has to be visible like in the base game, I'm thinking about adding some kind of border here where you can see in the pets that you have like 3 out of 10 and stuff like that. When you can afford an upgrade somewhere it needs like an exclamation mark. So many like small enhancement that, enhancements that I want to add to the game in addition to all the really cool things, the, the pet battles, the PvP, the trading options, the different cases, the the collection overview, what pets can I collect, and trophies, and you name it guys, loads of things. Uh, I did show you in the last video that I made these kind of structures for the background that should be affected by the den, but I haven't implemented them yet, and it's because I'm going to probably make another layered version of the background, <coughs> because I'm thinking Perhaps the stash should be visual, the treasury, so that when you upgrade this, instead of just nothing happening, we have some kind of like a gold pile or, I don't know, some kind of um, chest or something that gets larger when you, when you increase the stables. You could get like a bat cage one time or so just to make the impact on the visual part of the game larger. Um, to what extent I'm not sure yet. I'm also, as always, really open for feedback from you guys, but I really like having the visuals of the game adapt to the way you play it, also because I think it would be really amazing if I play this game and I focus on, uh, let's say, money and my, uh, my treasury and PvP, my game would look different than if you have been focusing on apples and specializing in rare creatures for instance so when we look at each other's game it's like are we playing the same game you have these crazy pets and you have this uh, golden castle kind of thing I just think that kind of the um, of game option would be really amazing as well because even though you're playing the same game and you can trade with each other possibly even battle you're looking at like completely different things so um, yeah, that's also stuff that um, that I'm thinking about. But anyway, guys, <laughs> this was really just meant to be a short update about um, the changes to the game here in version 0.008. And like I said, actually quite a bit of, of coding change, but most of it, and I, I, <laughs> that's really how it is with with programming. Obviously I can make a lot of visuals with a very small amount of codes, but when it comes to making more advanced things, it's about writing a lot of code, trying to optimize it so that it runs smooth, it doesn't create bugs, and the impact on the screen can be like nothing really because it's all going on in the background. But um, I really want to, to get the other things working. Um, 
I think I almost promised that pets would be able to die in the next version and obviously they they can't. Uh, the thought was that they could either die of age or starvation. I really like the idea about going into the stash and having different options here. One could be feed so that you need to go in and feed the pets every once in a while not like Tamagotchi style but you know keep them alive and if you don't they die or perhaps they fall asleep perhaps I want a game option so you can choose how hardcore you want the game um, and that would really lead to another cool thing which could be hiring personnel so that you could have like a stable boy or stable girl that would feed like three of your pets or five so you can start really adding these different elements to the game so you can like if you play the game a lot you don't want to waste your resources on it uh, if you just want to play it casually then you want to upgrade to have like a staff in your small growing kingdom of of people that do stuff for you just as with the money per second and the apples per second then you get somebody to feed your petal petals pets also love the comments about like animal trainers that will increase their attack points um, I mean mini games guys like you guys wrote about working on two of those actually uh, the the daily roll jackpot rotation I had this really cool idea about making uh, like this multi-tiered jackpot system where you have like a rolling thing an outer ring that can roll into an inner ring and like go crazy so you can be like really insane lucky but at the same time it would have this daily login feature so that the chance for you let's say you start rolling in the outer ring and you have one percent chance to go to the next ring for even better prizes but each day it gives you like an increased chance to go to the next ring so if you play the game every day you're going to be pretty guaranteed to win a lot of really cool things at the end of the month but you could also be really lucky at the start of the month um, so that is also stuff that I'm uh, scribbling about so really a lot of stuff going on <clears throat> I'm super hyped about this project and also really because you guys are just crushing it with cool ideas and supporting me so obviously I just want to go nuts and uh, try to make all the crazy features and share them with you guys but anyway it's uh, <laughs> I'm just talking so um, as always guys thank you very much for watching thank you for your comments your thoughts your suggestions you guys absolutely rock. As always, thank you very much for watching.